Alright you guys, so this is the company I will be working with today. This is what the inside of my box looks like. They gave me some goodies along with um, my wig. So in this little cute little pink pouch, I got a head tie, a little head scarf, some clips. Also, they gave me two pair of eyelashes, a wig cap, an edge control brush, which I love. And this is the wig right here. It comes with like an adjustable band on the inside to help make your wig feel a little more secure. And this is the lace. I think it is transparent lace. I will list all the details down in the description box. But here I'm just showing you how the lace looks up against my skin tone. So that is pretty much the wig. Alright you guys, so here are the dyes that I'm going to be using. I'm using three bottles of Indigo Blue from Adore and I have one bottle of Royal Navy. And also I'm going to be adding some salt to my water because Arian Tate did it in one of his watercolor method tutorials. So I'm going to be doing it in all of mine, period. So I'm just adding the salt and I'm also adding some super, super hot water. As you can see, all that steam. Yes, this water was hot. And I'm pretty much just going to be adding my dye to the water um it's pretty self-explanatory um i would hope by now everyone knows how to do the watercolor method but if not you pretty much just get a container add some water it could be warm from the tap or you can boil the water and then you just add your hair dye to that water and then you just put your hair or bundles or whatever in the um water so i did um originally intend for this video to be like a how to highlight your wig that's what i ended up you know deciding to go for i was like you know what let me try something different let me do some highlights i never did it before but i did not like it um it just it didn't turn out the way i wanted it to so one thing about me i'm not gonna upload something if i'm not 100 percent happy with the color now it wasn't really anything wrong with the highlights i just didn't think highlights would look nice on me so i ended up dyeing this wig blue and i'm super happy that i kind of did this because the blue highlights y'all it came out so fire i can't wait for y'all to see the results okay i can't wait for y'all to see the results but let me stop talking right now um and then i'll just come back and you know talk to you guys when something interesting happens okay your girl is back so here i'm showing you what the color looked like it was super pretty but i just didn't like the um the brown on me and it was lighter i did try to tone the hair but i still didn't like it so now i'm pretty much just putting my wig in that water and letting it really be submerged in there and one thing i do want to mention if you are you know attempting this on 1b hair um, make sure that you have enough hair dye because blue hair or you know one b hair that's been lifted it has a tendency to leave like a green tint to it or you know green undertones because of course you know honey blonde it has yellow undertones to it so which makes sense why you might get a green tint especially if your hair is not um fully saturated in that blue hair dye so make sure you have enough hair dye because you don't want to have like green you know patches or anything like that but luckily for me because I did highlight my wig I had a few green streaks in there but it came out super super pretty which I can't wait for you guys to see the results it came out super super pretty you guys um which I wasn't mad at but if you are one and you want like a full you know blue from root to tip no green patches or anything like that make sure you have enough hair dye so that your hair can be super saturated and fully coated um in the blue dye Okay, so now I'm taking that Royal Navy and y'all I attempted to color my roots 
but it just wasn't working out um <laughs> so I really really tried but I could tell I wasn't going to be able to really get you know close to the root and I wasn't going to be able to get the um the color job that I wanted by doing it this way because normally if you watch a lot of my videos my watercolor method videos I always color the roots first and then you know dip dye the ends and the rest of the wig so I took a chance and I was just like, you know what? I could tell I ain't going to get the color I want. And I was just like, you know what? Jesus, take the wheel. So I ended up pouring the um, the Adore Royal Navy in the um, water. And I just pretty much just submerged the wig um, and just let it sit in that hair dye. And of course, you know, we want all the remnants in the bottle. So I added some water just to make sure I get all that dye about the bottle. Okay. <laughs> and like I said, I just submerged my wig in there making sure that I got the roots and everything like that because the last thing you want like I said is to have patches in your wig and it just it looks bad so I did submerge my um wig in the water and it did not stain the lace at all y'all um I don't know if this was transparent lace but I believe it is transparent lace and literally I had no stains on the lace at all y'all so that was super super exciting to see because like I said I normally don't color my um lace like this but I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it done the way I wanted it to. So that is pretty much what I did. I let the wig probably sit in the water for maybe about like 15, 20 minutes, y'all. Um, and I just let it like really absorb that color. So as you can see, it has like, it's not fully blue. It's highlights, low lights, which you will be able to get like a better glimpse of um, the wig. But right now, I'm pretty much just going to blow dry the wig, and I'm using some bio silk. I don't know why it wasn't showing up um, clear on camera, but I am using the bio silk, and I'm just going to run that through the hair, and then I'm going to blow dry the hair um, as well as press it, um, you know, just silk press it bone straight, and then I will come back with the result. Alright you guys, so this is how the color turned out. I'm gonna get close a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the highlights, but y'all, this color came out super duper pretty, y'all. Like, so pretty. The blue highlights in it is definitely a vibe. And I definitely think I probably like this a little bit better um, versus the hair being all um, the same color blue. Like, the, high, the blue highlights definitely... It's a go, it's a go. So that is pretty much it for this little hair coloring tutorial. And I know y'all can see my little, my braids under here, um, which I was supposed to vlog me actually getting my Des Dior inspired braids, but the girl I went to, like the vibe was so good. Like I didn't want to ruin anything by having a camera in her face, anything like that. So I definitely will be, um, doing more like maintenance vlogs and me going to get my hair done my nails and everything like that so if you liked my previous vlog let me know now in the comments of this video that you want to see more vlogs like this because i am thinking about doing like a come with me to get my hair done for this wig um so let me know down in the comments below if that is something you want to see because i will definitely do more videos like that because i'm a hairstylist myself and like i said i'd be tired of doing my own hair y'all like your girl be tired so I think that's what I'm gonna do or whatever but y'all this color is so so pretty and I will leave all the links um 
to this wig down in the description box like the texture density and everything like that in case you are interested in purchasing this hair and also i want to thank um the hair company ayayi um, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name correctly, so forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. But I do want to thank them for sending me this wig. It is super, super pretty and super full, y'all. Like, I'm not sure of the density, but y'all, this wig is so full. And let me tell you, when I was highlighting the wig, I went through some trials and tribulations. And the hair is still full, still giving body. It took to the color super, super well and everything like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want to see more maintenance vlogs and stuff like that. Um, let me know how you feel about them or anything like that. And also leave me a comment telling me how you like this video as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.